Obviously, it's represented England. Brings back memories. But it does because you've got your family in the crowd quite often. You know, they're listening to the national anthem while you're standing there, and uh, it's one of those days that you don't tend to forget. Very proud for these players. to Italy. Florenzi. Well, he saw the guy he could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. It's a real tussle between the two of them to try and get the ball. Italy have the ball again. Mario Balotelli. The ball wide, chance to get the ball in the box. Well done, powerful header. can tell he knows the game. He had a sixth sense there to get to the right position and nick the ball. Good support play from his teammates. And in goes the cross. And well done the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. And it's going to be his throw here. Quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. Goal. Good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely to say the least. David Perper. It's a turnover of possession here. Florenzi. Babel. That's a corner. That's a fine tackle. Mario Balotelli. Good penalty! Italy, well, with this lead. Keeping the wide attack going. Mario Balotelli. Insignia. It's a good ball, it could be in. Now the shot! Hasn't hit the target. Florenzi. Domenico Crescito. Leonardo Venucci. Insignia. He can take possession in his own heart. 
intriguing and at times inspirational in this a friendly fixture at half time there is just a one goal in it yeah there's also been a bit of a tactic so the referees happy the players are in position the second half gets underway David Trapper. He's in again. It 
not this time, not a second goal, the goalkeeper saw to that. Yeah, well played the keeper there because he was second favourite and uh, he did well to stop that. Well, that's 